So, today is going to be different because I'm going to, I'm not doing a hair treatment, but I am certainly doing a hair color change. I know Manic Panic has pastel bottle, but I didn't know that. So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna mix. And so far, this is the little test right here. It's actually changing. We got Amanda Camille behind holding the game. Hey! And I'm about to mix and I'm very nervous. Here we go. Oh, I shouldn't put the whole thing right, I should just do half. That yeah. was pretty much the whole thing. Okay, so here we are. Here's the mix. And here's my hair. Take a good look at it because it's gonna be pink. Look at them nails though. Oh my, shout out to Castler Studios. Nails. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, you're acting. <laughs> ah, ah, magic. What? What? Wait, I believe you. All done. I got kind candy pink and lavender. And it came out to like a different pink. It didn't look pastelish. But then when she when Amanda applied it on my hair, it kind of still looks blondish. She'll show you right now. It kind of like shows so blonde but it definitely does not look blonde anymore. So we're gonna see how the cotton candy pink and the lavender manic manic comes out. Hey! <laughs> so much sis <laughs> oh, any words any words how do you turn this off so I just got out the shower and I kind of washed my hair I put a little bit of shampoo because it says to rinse my hair just kind of was four days dirty so I decided to put a little bit of shampoo and it seems like the manic panic is like made with like a conditioner because I didn't need any conditioner. It was like really soft washing it out. And this is what it looks like. So I left it for 30 minutes in a plastic bag. And yeah, doesn't look bad at all. So hey. now we gotta restyle it and then we all see how it look. This is the finished result. Hey. No. No. So we did not know what to expect. Um, it's a mix again of lavender and pastel. No, no. What was it? Cotton candy pink. And this was the outcome. It came out pretty pastelish, which was the goal. Which, by the way, I didn't know there was pastel manic panic. So, but it came out cute. Now my hair is pinky. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> Say bye, Amanda. Bye. Nice to see bye. What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to Sam Glam Styles. Okay. Thank you for clicking here. If you clicked on here, it's because mm, you already know. Today, before you guys leave, because I probably do talk a lot, I will be reviewing and trying for the very first time this brand right here, Adore Cotton Candy 190 Semi Permanent Dye. And the reason why I am at this point and you see my hair like this is because as you saw in the video before, I was trying Manic Panic again. I'm going to show you the first time I used it, which was about two years ago. Came out popping, okay? Literally. But the reason why I want to try it again is because I went blonde. As you know, I am not a natural blonde. I went blonde for my wedding. Chopped it off. And let it grow out. Um, got some highlights in again, as you can see right here to here. And I wanted to go back brown, but I'm like, you know what? Before I go dark again, 
I need to go semi permanent dye again. And I really wanted to try pink again. So I did hot pink. I've done purple in my life, I've done red, but I really wanted to try a, a, like a cotton candy color. In the video, I used Manic Panic Cotton Candy Pink and Lavender. As you can see, it came out on some parts very nicely and you could tell the color would look nice, but the reason why I didn't fully capture my color is because I failed to follow the directions correctly with my girl Amanda, okay? She was definitely helping me out and I just, I was so eager that I did it so quick and it didn't work out. Um, you're supposed to have your hair washed and I did it four days with a four day dirty hair, five day dirty hair. And y'all know that oil be accumulating on your scalp. So this is the result of it. I did put the rest of it in my conditioner and I've been doing that lately, but it's still not capturing. And so I just decided, you know what? There has to be a brand out there that does capture color that is still light. So I wanted to really, 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 really try Arctic Fox Froze. That was what today's video was supposed to be, but I literally went to my two only stores nearby and they had Arctic Fox, but they didn't have Froze. And I, you know, I really just wanted to try a frosty color. The Manic Panic had the same colors and I didn't want to dilute it and I didn't want to try the same thing. So I came across this little guy and this is the pink color that you see on the bottle and I saw that on a lot of people's hair it did come out that way. My hair is medium blonde, medium dark or medium light blonde. I would say between the scale to 0 and 10 as you guys know in the hair color scale. This right here for those of you that don't know is the level 0 would be black, I'm, my natural hair is like a level 3. This would be a level seven, six, seven, and then the lightest blonde that you see would be a level 12. My hair is like that medium. So, a lot of you that clicked on this, maybe you're looking for answers. Maybe you have seen a lot of videos and you didn't see the information about, is it gonna work on all blonde hair? Is it gonna work on dark hair? Well, first off, it does not work on the dark hair. So don't try it. I mean, unless you really want like that that little color shown in the light, but that's about it. You're not gonna really see a change. It only works on bleached hair, and I'm not sure if it works on actually blonde hair. I'm assuming it does. So yeah, just try it on blonde hair and that's it. My hair in particular is not that light, so it will come out maybe like this, maybe a little darker. That's why we're gonna find out. So, okay, it says shampoo and towel dry. A lot of you know, if you're keeping your hair healthy, you do not towel dry your hair you microfiber or t-shirt dry your hair okay or air dry so I will not be doing that and my hair I did wash yesterday so I'm not gonna do what the directions say all the way but it should still work okay it is shampooed it says use protective cream around the hairline I won't be putting it on my hairline so I don't have to worry about that it says apply hair color an eighth from scalp don't have to worry about that and it says comb throughly I will be doing that it says cover with plastic cap and process with heat for up to 15 minutes. Rinse and shampoo completely. Those are the directions. I'm gonna try it out. Take one last look at this hair because it's about to be gone. So for this project, you will need some kind of bowl. I'm gonna use my regular bowl. The color, okay. I have a clip just so I can do it in division in sections because I will not be doing my whole head in one shot that is just unprofessional um, and I did get this at Sally's Beauty these are gloves I wanted them and now they came in handy so you're gonna need gloves if not use a plastic bag on your hands and just work it out hey boo <laughs> hey how are you he said I love him he just makes my videos so funny right babe He said sure, but he knows it's true. I smack you with these gloves. <laughs> and I will be using this. Oh, and use a t-shirt. Oh, this happens to match. Okay. Use a t-shirt that you don't care about, even though it's a semi-permanent. Um, I don't know. You don't want to use a t-shirt that you love. So yeah, use a t-shirt that you don't care about. And here we go. Let's get started and let's see how this works. <laughs> Okay guys, 
so I think I'm done. I did really try to get the front and the tops, and I think I did. There is some left in the bottle. I just don't want to use it all if I don't have to, because then I can use the rest as conditioner. Oh, oh. I'm going to pin this up. I applied almost all of it. I would say maybe there's this much left inside. I did dilute it at the end just because I wanted it to last. I'm trying to treat it as if I ran out. I just wanted to try both. So I tried it, I diluted it, but I just, I just did it, okay? I just did it. So this is what's left of it. When you dilute it, it literally looks like Manic Panic. So I guess it not being diluted, it's more tinting. So I just added it at the end to be lighter and then I kind of passed it over whatever might not have had the colors. And let's see, it might give off a highlight look. I don't know. But let's see. Now the directions say to leave it in my hair for 15 minutes. The bottom obviously has been left longer, but I'm going to wait like maybe 20 minutes just because I really want the top to capture. I'll wash it off and then I'll see how it looks, guys. As I just washed my hair. And so far this looks really cute. It is kind of, it kind of does look fuchsia, right? But on the t-shirt, I had a little stain on it. And when it dried up, it looked really pink. So I'm gonna see how it looks. I'm sure it's gonna look a little brighter. I'm not expecting it to look too bright. But so far y'all, this looks really cute. I'm gonna be using to dry my hair, the Revlon. If you haven't yet, go. Click on the link and watch how this bad boy works. I will link, I will put the link down below. Other than that, let's get on with it. All right guys, it is freshly washed and blow dried. Now, what is my thoughts? What, what is, what are my thoughts and what are you thinking right now? Well, we can honestly say the color did work. It's definitely on my ends. It's just, it's not all over my hair, and you know what? That might be my fault. Because as I was looking at my clips, I noticed that I didn't really distribute it correctly. I didn't really follow the directions, but I don't think that matters, because a lot of people don't. As you guys kept seeing when I was applying it, I was really putting it at my end. So maybe I needed two of them, and maybe I needed like the, so the, like the paintbrush, because it looks like a really nice color. It just didn't get everywhere, look. Compared to this, it looks blonde and then pink. And I just wanted one color. Another thing I, I'm not really fond of, it says cotton candy and it really doesn't look cotton candy. Again, it could be my hair color. Maybe my hair is too dark blonde. All right guys, recording to you from my phone. I, yes, I am going to redo it because I actually have a lot left. And this time I will be using the paintbrush and i'm sorry that i couldn't turn my camera because my camera's busted but i put the light in here <clears throat> and my bathroom is very small to record so this is the phone cam i am going to re -dye it and i will actually show the results because i'm gonna dye it again with good light and a brush so let's see the result this time what's up glamours here I am, yes, I have curly hair. When I strained my hair, it didn't look bad, but it didn't look great. And it was totally my fault. So as you guys saw, I used the brush, I used the paintbrush, and this time I used the whole color, okay? I didn't use the whole color the first time, and obviously it's not gonna go all over my hair if I don't use enough. So I used enough, okay? So I use the paintbrush, I use the rest of the color. Huge difference, don't use your hands. I don't recommend that. Use the brush, it's better. So I... But I did it good though. You make, you make my videos interesting. I know I already know this is gonna be good. So, um... It just came out better. I used the whole color. Using the brush, it allows you to take a little bit and distribute a lot. So yes, you have to use the brush. It's so much better. And as you guys see, the color looks more vibrant. It looks just way better, guys. That's another thing. I just, I did this Saturday. It is currently Monday. 
I re-wet my hair and I scrunched a lot. As you can see, these popping curls. I'll link down below so you can see how I get the curls. But as I wet it, color kind of came out. But I, it still looks really good. So it kind of just looks like a blend right here. So it turned pink, but up here is darker than here. So my ends are lighter. So it kind of blends, it looks cute guys. So what do I think about this product? Do I give it a B? Do I give it an A plus? I don't give it an A plus, only because it's not the color that I originally wanted. I don't know if I should be blaming that on my hair color or on the product, but my hair is dark, so I'm just gonna give it a B plus slash A, but not an A plus. It was only $4.99, it did the job. You just need a paintbrush. That's it. If you have a lot of hair, I do recommend getting two bottles because it is kind of small. It's four ounces. It's just as much as Manic Panic. For those of you that have used Manic Panic, it's the same amount. So if you have long hair and a lot of hair, please, I think you should buy two. If you have hair like mine, pretty much, one is enough. Use a paint brush. That's all I'm saying. Guys, if this helped answer any of your questions, give it a thumbs up and uh, just click the button right there just boop. if there's something I didn't cover for you please comment it down below and I will be so happy to make a video about it because I already got people commenting down below and I will be answering your questions so thank you so much guys God bless you love you bye